Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In this video, I am going to show how you can show the custom toast message in your react native application. So without any delay, let's get started. To show the custom toast message, we have to install one package. For that, we can go to Google, search for react native toast message, click on the first link. Now let's click on this github.com. From here, we have to go down and then click on this quick start. Here you can find all the steps to install this package and how to use it. So first we have to run this command to install the package. I have already installed it. Now I will go down and here you can see this is the steps how you can use that. So first I will copy this import statement and we have to import this inside app.jsx. So I will go there. This is my app.jsx. So I will just paste that here. After that I will go to my navigation container. In this you can see these are my drawer and login nav. Below this, I will call that toast like this. Now, this toast message will be accessible to our whole application. Now, to test the toast message, we will show the toast message on our home screen after two seconds inside use effect. So, let me open my home screen. This is my home screen, and this is my home screen.jsx. Inside here, I will first import that toast message. After that, I will come below, and inside use effect, I will write the set timeout which will help us to show the toast message after 2 seconds. And inside this, we can show the toast message like this. I will write here toast.show and it will accept some parameter like it will accept the type and the type of the toast message will be success, info and error. Also, it can accept two text. The first text will be header and the second text will be subheader. So here I can write welcome, text 2 I can pass hi buddy. Here I can pass the time that is after 2 seconds. Now I will save this and here you can see we are getting that toast message. Okay it is disappearing. Here we can pass n number of props. So here I will pass visibility time so that our toast message will be visible for a long time. For now I am giving 10 seconds. Let's save this and you can see I have got that toast message also it is staying there for 10 seconds. So this is how you can show the toast message in your react native application. But now I will show how you can configure them as per your choice. For that we have to go to app.jsx. Now I will go to the documentation and let's see what are the things that this package offers. Here we can come below and here you can see the example to use it. Like we can define toast.show inside this function and we can call that function on the button. Now let me just click here to see the toast API. And here you can find all the props which this package offers like type, text1, text2, position. We can position the toast message like top or bottom, its visibility time, auto hide and there are much more. We can also hide the toast message by this like toast.hide. So you can explore the package from here. Now to make the custom toast message, I will just go back and here you can see there is another thing create custom layout. I will click on that and this is the code to create the custom layout. So I will copy this import statement. Go to my app.jsx, come here. Instead of this only toast, I will paste this. This is importing two other components which is base toast and error toast. Now I will again go there. I will copy this toast config and let's paste it there. So I will come inside my app.jsx and I am pasting it here. I am not pasting it inside our main function. I am pasting it inside my app.jsx. Here you can define the basic layout for your all the type of messages or toast messages. So you can see here, this is the success message. So whatever configuration you will pass here, it will appear on all the success message inside your application. Same thing goes for error and here also you can create the custom layout by passing view and text. So I'm not going to cover this. So I will remove this. Okay. So this is my success message and this is my error message. So let me just make it more beautiful. So I'm going to remove this and here I will pass this styling. So here I'm passing this style and here I have set the border left color as green, border right color as green, height is 70, width is 90. So we can control each and every aspect of our toast message. Here I have given container content style as padding horizontal 15. This is my text one font size and this is my text two font size. Same thing for the error message. Instead of this style, I will remove this and I will pass here this. Here I have passed text two number of lines. So we can also define the number of lines inside our subheader and header. This is my styling and this is my text1 and text2 font size. Make sure to pass this prop so that you can all the previously defined components here. Now I will save this. After we have defined the custom layout, 
we have to pass this configuration inside our toast message. So I will go below and here inside toast, I can pass here config and it will be toast config, which we have defined at up. Now I'll go to my home screen.jsx. Let me open the application to see the output. I'll go to my home screen.jsx and here I will change this visibility time to 5000. Let's save this. Let's see whether we are getting correct message or not. And you can see we are getting this beautiful message. You can change the color of high body and all and you can modify the toast message as per your choice. Now what I will do, I have used alert at many places inside my application. So instead of that alert, I will show this toast message. So what I will do, I will just log out from the application. Now I will go to my sign up page and here you can see when I press on this register, I am getting this alert message and this is actually the error message. So I will replace this with this toast message. So I will copy this toast.show, I will go to my register.jsx. I will come below and here you can see this is the alert. So instead of this alert, I will paste this message. I will make this comment. I will copy this. This thing I will show inside text too. Okay. Type will be error and welcome. Instead of welcome, I will write here error. Okay. I will save this. Now when I press on this register, oops, I have not imported this toast. So let me just import it. Okay, I will save this again. Again, I will press on this register. And here you can see I'm getting this toast message. Error fill mandatory details. So it is totally working fine. That's it for the video. I hope you have understand each and everything. And if you have any doubt, then please let me know in comments. Till now we have integrated Node.js and MongoDB in our React Native application so that we can do registration and login in our React Native application. And we are also showing the user's detail at our home screen. Now in the next video, I will show how you can upload the profile photo of the user and fetch it back. Also, along with the profile photo, I'm also going to update other details. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.